Hi everyone, I'm Jemima from Active Digital and I'm going to show you how you can use a widget on the iOS 14 update on the iPhone. So to get a widget you want to hold down on your screen anywhere, you will see that your app will vibrate and you want to click plus in the top left hand corner of your screen to add a widget. Here as you can see are all the widgets that you can scroll through and decide which one you'd like to add and then you can click the perfect one for you. I'd like to have the weather app. So you then come to this page and you can see from the here that you can have different sized widgets. You can have a small, medium and a large one. Personally for me I'd like to have the small one so I'm going to go ahead and click add widget. It's going to come at the top of my screen. Now you can place this anywhere on your screens if you like. Then you're going to click done. Then I'm going to add another one plus and you can scroll through all the different types of widgets you want. As you can see, all of my apps are down here and I can add any of them as a widget onto my phone. I'd quite like to have the battery one, so I'm going to click battery. And again, you can have the small, medium or large. I'm going to have the small again so that it goes with the theme. And I'm going to go ahead and click add widget. Then I'm going to click done in the top right hand corner. So once you've done these, you can move them around if you'd like to. I'm going to keep mine at the top just there but what the widgets do is you can see in my top right hand corner it tells me the percentage the widget tells me my percentage in front of me rather than having to scroll down that's what a widget is it tells you the information inside an app without having to click on the app I'm going to scroll across and I'm going to add another widget but show you a different sized one so we're going to plus widget and I'm going to do the world clock Again, you can have different sizes, but I think I'm going to go ahead with the long one so you can see the four different clocks of the different cities. I've added the widget. Now, you can hold the widget and click edit. Now, this is where all the cities show you. So I'm going to change Sydney and I think I'm going to click Abu Dhabi. So when I come out of it, I will now have four clocks and they will tell you how far ahead or behind they are compared to your location and time now. 